Hi guys, welcome to Immortal Electronics. Today in this tutorial we will see what is a breadboard means and how to use a breadboard. First of all, do you get a doubt why this is called a breadboard? Let me explain. If you see a original bread, it looks like a sponge material which contains so many holes in it. Similarly, if we see this breadboard, it also contains so many holes in it. So, this is the reason why we call this a breadboard. And how to use this breadboard and what is there in this breadboard? We'll see now. So, you can see here different number of holes inside this. And we can divide the breadboard into four segments. If you see, so these two rows, this first one and the second one is combinedly a one segment and the next part here, these five rows, one, two, three, four and five. These five rows is considered to be the second segment and again the five rows, one, two, three, four, five. These five rows are again considered to be another segment. And finally, the last two rows is one more segment. So totally, this breadboard is divided into four segments. And how we divided these segments, we'll see now. In these four segments, what we have to keep in mind is the first two rows and the last two rows are similar to each other and the middle five five these ten rows are similar to each other and there will be no interconnection between these two rows with these five rows and these five rows and these two rows and one more point what we have to keep in mind is each segment is separated individually no segment have interconnections this segment is separate with all the segments and that this segment is separate from all the segments. Similarly, this segment is different from all the segments. Finally, this segment is separated from all the segments. So here, we can get four different segments with two type of connections. So what are the two type of connections? If you see the first two rows and the last two rows, here the connections will be similar to each other. And the five rows here and the five rows here their connections will be similar to each other. How the connections will be? If we see the first two rows and the last two rows, here we totally have 10 different parts. First part, second part, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here we have totally 10 parts. And one more point is, these two rows doesn't have any interconnection. Similarly at the down also. So these are the connections which we had internally for these two edge segments. And if we go for the middle segments, here we have two parts, each with five rows. One, two, three, four, five. And how actually these five rows are divided means, here the connection will be series. That means the first five will be interconnected and the next five will be interconnected next five next five similarly of the holes here the connections will be for only for these five and they will not be interconnected with the second column so in this way all the connections are formed here similarly while coming for the third segments here also the connections will be interconnected for five holes and next five holes next five holes next five holes there will be no interconnection between the two columns two any two columns so these are the connections which we had in a breadboard hope you understand the connections now we'll see how actually this is going to be worked and one more point is you can get how many holes we have in this uh, breadboard actually this is a basic breadboard so totally we'll have 830 holes in this breadboard and now we'll see how these connections will be helpful for doing the experiments let me check a normal led how it is going to be worked in this breadboard 
So I have taken a battery and a LED. Now we'll check the connections. First, we'll check the middle segments. So here what we have to do is we should not place the two pins of LED within the same row. So this type of placement is wrong because all the five holes in that row are interconnected. If you give the connection for that, then the positive and the negative pins will be shorted. So this may cause the damage to the LED. So we should never connect any electronic equipment in the same row. So I have connected the positive terminal and the negative terminal of the LED in two different rows. Now I will connect the battery. See, now I have given the battery connection to this LED. See where I have connected the battery positive and negative terminals in the same row but a different hole. So by this we came to know all the five holes in a row of this segment are interconnected. By this we have proven that. Similarly we can also connect two different segments in this breadboard like this. So we can also connect uh, the LED in the last two segments like this. In one column we have to place one terminal and the other column we have to place the other terminal. As we said the consecutive parts here are totally interconnected. Now we will check whether it is interconnected or not. So we have given the power supply on the first part and we have connected the LED also in the first part. And now I am going to place an another LED in the another part. So the yellow LED is also glowing here. So this shows that all the parts are interconnected with each other. So this is the breadboard internal connections and how to give the connections in the breadboard. If you have any more doubts, you can contact us. And we are the team of Immortal Electronics signing off. Bye.